গাম গাম ব্যস্ত সেই পাম সেই পামে পাইপ লাইন গড়ে নই বিল খাল বাম করি একাকার রঙা মুয়া মিস্ত্রি ট্রাক ট্রেন ট্রেক্টর অবিরাম চলে সেই পামে পাইপ লাইন গড়ে In the dense forests of northeast India is where the legacy of the Indian oil and gas industry began. Burma Oil Company, which later got designated as Oil India Limited, OIL, undertook the construction of a 1,157 km pipeline in the early 1960s. A project conceived and executed decades before modern technological advancements existed on the planet. The pipeline was nothing short of a technological marvel. In the 1960s, when BOC overtook the operations, bringing in much needed capital and expertise, its first order of business was the construction of the pipeline. A loan of 23 million pounds was offered to BOC for the project. Constructing this pipeline with the backdrop of a newly independent India was surely a challenge of the utmost kind. Commissioned in two phases in 1962 and 1964, this trunk pipeline was designed to carry crude oil from the newly developed Nahor Katia and Moran oil fields of Upper Assam to public sector refineries located at Guwahati in Lower Assam and Baroni in Bihar. It also fed the vintage Digboy refinery of the Assam Oil Company, AOC which had been commissioned over a century ago on the 11th of December 1901. The magic of its engineering lay in the fact that a single operative seated in a room at a strategic point of the pipeline system could control and monitor its entire length of 1,157 kilometers. For constructing the pipeline, 3,000 tons pipes of 418 kilometer pipeline up to Guwahati refinery arrived at the Calcutta port in December 1959 in three ships, which were then transported further to railway stations between Duliajan and Digaru. The total 31,641 tons of pipes was received by March 1960. Pipeline job was awarded to Messrs. Manisman Saipem Pipeline Contractors who started construction works from December 1960. Race against time. For a project as momentous as this, the construction was completed well within the time frame. The first phase within one year, three month time. Subsequently, second phase was completed in less than eight month time. Once the first phase of the pipeline was commissioned, the Guwahati refinery was inaugurated in January 1962. Subsequently, after the commissioning of the second phase, the Baroni refinery was inaugurated on the 15th of January 1965. However, the construction of the pipeline wasn't devoid of its own challenges and mishaps. Adverse weather conditions in Upper Assam severely affected the construction work. In 1963, the first major pipeline damage occurred when the road bridge carrying it over Dhanasiri River near Jorhat collapsed due to high pressure of flood water. Later, a flood caused significant erosion at two locations, Chel and Burman. The cross-country pipeline crosses 78 rivers, challenging terrain and protected areas such as Kaziranga National Park, Baksa Tiger Reserve, Jaldapara, Gorumara, Mahananda Wildlife Sanctuaries, and innumerable numbers of reserve forests in the states of Assam and West Bengal. Another challenge was the crossing of 4,800 feet wide Brahmaputra River. The genius technical minds at BOC overcame even this challenge by constructing the pipeline on the Brahmaputra Railway Bridge. Despite its history of tremendous challenges, the pipeline is one of the oldest pipelines in the world and it is fully functional to date. This very pipeline led to the world's first crude oil conditioning plant that was commissioned in 1963 for processing the crude extracted from Digboy and the neighboring regions. Next, with the incorporation of BRPL and NRL refineries in the region, the pipeline started pumping crude to these refineries in 1979 and 1999 respectively. Over the years, 
life in the 10 pump stations alongside the pipeline has been very colorful. A single pipeline envisaged to revolutionize the oil and gas industry has also provided a safe and beautiful haven to many employees and their families. The fascinating saga of this pipeline is couched within the equally enthralling history of the Indian oil industry and the genesis of this needs to be understood to comprehend the uniqueness of the lifeline of the Northeast and India. The vast history of this marvelous pipeline calls for it to be preserved, discussed and celebrated. The legacy of this pipeline needed to be forever etched in text for time immemorial. For the same, Oil India Limited gives a tribute by launching a book called Oil India – The Pipeline Saga. The book has been written by eminent writer, journalist and Padma Shri Award 2018 recipient Sri Aurub Kumar Datta. Book designed, edited and as printed by Messrs. Bookbell Guwahati. We salute the minds that envisioned the pipeline project and acknowledge the efforts of further generations who give their all to keep the legacy going. <laughs>